Hi everyone, welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Actual English. I'm Jennifer Clyde. It's time for lesson 384, and today's topic is reality TV.、Uh, reality TV, we see them everywhere, don't we?、Uh, I don't know. It started to catch on several years ago, but nowadays, when we turn on the television,、um, we do see a lot of reality TV programs or TV shows. They're based on real things, for example. But what we will do today is we'll listen to a conversation in today's actual talk and have the chance to kind of compare American reality TV、um, with Korean reality TV. They are quite different, so you're going to have to listen carefully. Okay, so here we go. Let's begin with actual talk. <music> I've never been a huge TV guy.、Mm-hmm. I like watching movies,、yeah. but I don't usually watch that much television.、Mm-hmm. I don't really find the time. Right.、Um, but I do find that nowadays, when I do watch the television, the only things that you see are reality TV shows. Right. It'd be interesting to know the percentage because、mm-hmm. I feel like in the last ten years, it's been in America、mm-hmm. as well. Everything switched to reality TV.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are a few sitcoms still, but it seems like there's certain stations where it's reality TV show after reality TV show、yeah. after reality TV show. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. I know. Did the writers <laughs> get lazy or something? Yeah, yeah, just gave up. Right, we're done. Was... But I've noticed. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I've noticed、um, in what I've seen on Korean reality TV,、mm-hmm. it seems much more refined、mm. than American reality TV.、Mm-hmm. Um, In Korea, I feel like these TV shows, people are learning a skill, maybe cooking、mm-hmm. or traveling, experiencing a new culture. American reality TV is like get as many crazy personalities in one room,、yeah. trap them together, and watch the madness、mm-hmm. occur. Yeah, definitely, that hasn't caught on in Korea yet. No, and I, fingers crossed it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, because here you see.、Uh, TV shows like Running Man,、okay. uh, where they, you know, playing games and experiencing something new, or、mm-hmm. Superman Dad. Oh, what's that? It's a really cool TV show, actually. Okay.、Um, celebrity Korean celebrities,、mm-hmm. uh, the fathers,、mm-hmm. they have to spend twenty four hours looking after their own children. Oh, really? How does that? How, how does it play out? It generally plays out pretty good, actually. Oh, wow! And、uh, there's one guy in particular. He has three children. Okay. Three twins. Three twin yeah. triplets. Triplets, you mean? yeah. Okay.、Um, and he has to look after them for twenty four hours, and you think it's going to be madness. Um, but he actually does pretty well with it. Wow,、yeah. that's impressive. I'd like to see that. I love to see、um, the hands-on dads. You、mm-hmm. know, the dads really ex- building that relationship with their children. I'll、yeah. have to check it out. Yeah, you should do. It's exciting. Yeah. That was Martin and Mary talking about reality TV. Now, do you know what I was talking about? Now, do you have a clear understanding of how different? American reality TV is compared to Korean reality TV. They did talk about sitcoms as well, which is an, an abbreviation for situate,、uh, situated comedy, situation comedy. So we'll take a look at that together. Okay, I'll explain to you in more detail. So here we go. Martin saying, "I've never been a huge TV guy." Okay, I have never been a huge TV guy. TV person is another way of putting it. What does he mean by this? All right. If you say I am a huge TV guy, I'm a huge TV person. It means you love TV. You really enjoy watching TV. But here he says I've never been a huge TV guy. He's just saying that he's really never enjoyed watching that much TV. Okay, doesn't mean he never watches it. He does from time to time, but he does not love TV. And he says, "I like watching movies." Okay, remember he did say that he's a movie buff. A few lessons, yeah, prior, but、um, he says, "I don't usually watch that much television. Not that much television." And he says, "Don't really find the time." Okay, I've added "I" there for you, just to make it a complete sentence. I don't really find the time to watch TV. Would be a complete sentence, but he said, "Don't really find the time." 
don't really find the time to do something. Find the time to do something basically means、um, that you make the time to do something. Okay. Usually, it's used to describe situations where you don't have enough time to do something that you want to do. Okay,、um, you can say,、um, "I couldn't find the time to do this." It means I didn't have enough time to do this. I wanted to do it, but I couldn't do it because I did not have enough time. It's usually used、um, to describe that kind of situation. So he says, "I don't really find the time." He does not intentionally make the time to watch television, but I do find that nowadays when I do watch television, he's just stressing the fact that when he does watch television, the only things that you see are reality TV shows. Yeah, show after show, they seem to be reality TV shows. The only things that are on are reality TV shows. And、uh, Mary agrees. She says, "Right, it would be interesting to know the percentage because I feel like in the last ten years, in the last ten years in America as well. So she's saying in Korea and in America, everything switched to reality TV. Everything, all programs, all TV shows switched to reality TV." What is she saying? So everything, meaning all different kinds of TV shows, TV programs, they switched to reality TV programs. Switch to means to change into. Okay, they changed to reality TV or reality TV shows. So she is just stressing that these days, from maybe ten、mm, years ago, it wasn't so much focused on、uh, reality TV. There were maybe just a couple, but now all shows, all TV shows, are reality TV shows. That is what she is saying. And then she says there are a few sitcoms. There are a few sitcoms still, but it seems like there are certain stations. We're talking about TV stations where it's reality TV show after reality TV show after reality TV show. Notice how she's、um, repeating this. It is reality TV show after reality TV show after reality TV show. So she's repeating it. Okay. Here, as I said, sitcoms. It's just a short way of calling situation comedy programs. Okay, they're just comic programs. Okay, a drama series, for example, with a set of characters. They're usually funny to watch, fun to watch, right? But she's saying, but certain stations, some TV stations, some television broadcasting stations, it's one show after another reality TV show after another one. She is stressing that there are so many reality TV shows on television these days. And she says, "Did the writers get lazy or something? What's happening?" Martin says, "Just gave up, right? We're done." Is probably what the writers are saying. Give up. He's saying maybe they've given up. Maybe they're too lazy to come up with something new and exciting. They're so lazy, and they gave up on, you know, creating something new. That's what Martin is saying. So these two have agreed that there are too many reality TV shows these days. Here we go. Mary says, "I don't watch a lot of TV, but in what I've seen on Korean reality TV, now she's going to focus and talk about Korean reality TV. It seems much more refined than American reality TV. So here she's making a comparison." A comparison between Korean reality TV and American reality TV. She says that Korean reality TV seems much more refined. Okay. Now, if you were to describe a person and say that he or she is refined, you're saying that this person is perhaps very sophisticated, has good manners. Okay. 
Um, very polite, for example. He's very polite. She's very sophisticated. Okay. Now, if you were to describe something, okay,、um, to be refined, you're saying that it is fully developed. Okay.、Um, it's it's just well developed, for example. So yeah, she's saying that Korean reality TV is simply much better than American reality TV. All right. And then she says, in Korea, I feel like on these TV shows, people are either learning a skill, such as cooking or traveling. They're also experiencing a new culture, so it's a learning process. On Korean reality TV, people on those shows are doing something new. They're doing something different. They're learning how to do something. Okay. Whereas in American reality TV, she says, "Yeah, get as many crazy personalities in one room. Crazy personalities. We're talking about people with crazy personalities. Just very different, weird people in one room. Trap them together and watch the madness occur." Now, in this sentence, she is talking about American reality TV. She's basically saying that these shows are stupid; they're crazy to watch because you get a whole bunch of weird people, strange people, people with crazy personalities. Get them in one room and let them do whatever. And she says, "Watch the madness, insanity, the craziness occur, happen." Okay. So these are two vocab words. We'll be going over them later on as well. Now Martin says, "Yeah, definitely, he agrees. That hasn't caught on in Korea yet, and I hope it doesn't." Now, what is caught on? Okay. Now this would be the past form to catch on. Catch on means to become popular, even become fashionable. Okay. So he's saying that has not caught on in Korea yet, meaning, well, this. Has not happened in Korea. Why? Because it has not become popular in Korea yet. It hasn't caught on in Korea yet. No, and fingers crossed, it doesn't. Keep one's fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. When would you hear this? Okay, when you're wishing for something. Usually, when you're wishing for good luck, when you're wishing for something. But he says, and fingers crossed that it doesn't. Catch on in Korea. He's saying, "I hope it doesn't catch on in Korea. I hope it doesn't." Mary agrees. Okay, and then let's move on because here you see TV shows like Running Man, where they're playing games, experiencing something new. Okay, he just mentions a few names of programs, even this program, Superman Dad. Now, Mary is not familiar with it, so she says,、hmm, "Superman Dad, what's that?" It's a really cool TV show. Actually, he enjoys watching it. Right? It's a cool TV show. So he's talking about that show. He says, Korean celebrities, such as fathers, the fathers, they have to spend twenty-four hours looking after their own children. So fathers look after. Their children. This is what the program is about, and it's done twenty-four hours. They're on camera twenty-four hours, or they're recorded twenty-four hours. Okay, so he's talking about the program called Superman Dad, where the dads, celebrities, look after. What does look after mean? Look after means to take care of. Imagine you look at something every time it moves or does something. You can look after someone or something. It means to take care of something or someone. So it's a program where the dads look after, take care of their children. Oh, really? Does it play out well, or how does it play out? We're talking about the results. So how does the show go? It generally plays out pretty good. Well would be proper to play out well. There's one guy in particular. And he talks about this one guy. He has three children. Do you know he's talking about Song Yun Gook? I think, yeah, three twins. Okay, three twins. Mary says triplets. You mean this is the key word? We often、um, call children 
two babies or two children that are born at the same time by the same mother. They're called twins, right? But often you will see triplets, where three babies are born at the same time by one mother. Okay, they're called triplets. Okay, so take a look at that triplets. Triplets, yeah, and he has to look after them, take care of them for twenty-four hours. And you think it's going to be madness, meaning you think you might imagine that it's going to be crazy, mad, very, very difficult. But he actually does pretty well with it. He does well with it, basically meaning that he deals with the difficulty. He deals with the situation pretty well. Okay, moving on. Well, that's impressive. I'd like to see that. I would love to see the hands-on dads. Hands-on meaning what? The dads that do things on their own. Okay, they don't ask for help. They do it all on their own. Hands-on dads. The dads really building that relationship with their children. I'll have to check it out. So yes, it is a program where the dads, the celebrity dads, build a strong relationship with their children. So it's a fun program to watch. Maybe very difficult for these celebrity dads, but fun for the audience to watch, right? Okay, let's take a listen one more time. I've never been a huge TV guy.、Mm -hmm. I like watching movies,、yeah. but I don't usually watch that much television.、Mm -hmm. I don't really find the time. Right.、Um, but I do find that nowadays, when I do watch the television. The only things that you see are reality TV shows, right? It'd be interesting to know the percentage because、mm. I feel like in the last ten years, it's been in America、mm -hmm. as well. Everything switched to reality TV.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a few sitcoms still, but it seems like there's certain stations where it's reality TV show after reality TV show、yeah. after reality TV show. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. I know. Did the writers get lazy or something? Yeah, yeah just gave up. Right, we're done. Was... But I've noticed. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I've noticed、um, in what I've seen on Korean reality TV,、mm -hmm. it seems much more refined、mm. than American reality TV.、Mm -hmm. um, in Korea, I feel like these TV shows, people are learning a skill, maybe cooking、mm -hmm. or traveling, experiencing a new culture. American reality TV is like get as many crazy personalities in one room,、yeah. trap them together, and watch the madness、mm. occur. Yeah, definitely. That hasn't caught on in Korea yet. No, and I, fingers crossed it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, because here you see、uh, TV shows like Running Man, okay,、uh, where they you know playing games and experiencing something new, or、mm -hmm. Superman Dad. Oh, what's that? It's a really cool TV show, actually. Okay.、Um, celebrity Korean celebrities,、mm -hmm. uh, the fathers,、mm -hmm. they have to spend twenty-four hours looking after their own children. Oh, really? How does that? How, how does it play out? It generally plays out pretty good, actually. Oh, wow!、Uh, there's one guy in particular. He has three children. Okay. Three twins. Three twin yeah. triplets. Triplets. You mean? Yeah. Okay.、Um, and he has to look after them for twenty-four hours. And you think it's going to be madness? Um, but he actually does pretty well with it. Wow,、yeah. that's impressive. I'd like to see that. I love to see、um, the hands-on dads. You、mm -hmm. know, the dads really building that relationship with their children. I'll、yeah. have to check it out. Yeah, you should do. It's exciting. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. It's now time for us to review the vocab words and the patterns. It's time for actual expressions. Okay, the first two vocab words we have for you on the first page are sitcom and refined. Sitcom simply is an abbreviation for situation comedy. It's very commonly called a sitcom or sitcoms, comic dramas. What a refined, refined. Here we go. Stress goes on the second syllable. And as I told you. Uh, you could describe a person to be refined, which means that he or she is very polite, good mannered, also having good taste. Perhaps you can talk about something such as a method or a process. You can describe that to be refined. In that case, you are saying that it is very well developed, fully developed, and very efficient. Okay. So here are some synonyms: classy, polished. Restrained, sophisticated. These are all synonyms for the word refined. Moving on, madness. A curt triplet. Madness. We're talking about insanity. Okay, 
absurdity, craziness, stu stupidity, so madness. Or this can actually also mean extreme excitement or enthusiasm. Okay, so madness does not always necessarily mean something negative. It can mean extreme excitement and enthusiasm. Okay, moving on to to occur. Occur. This means to happen, appear, develop, take place, even. So occur. But one more thing, a thought can occur. You could say, ah, oh, oh, it just occurred to me. This thought just occurred to me. It means that you suddenly thought about something or realized something. Okay, but in most cases, occur means to happen. So keep that in mind. Triplet. Okay, we're talking about a set of three. We're talking about three babies born at the same time under one mother. Moving on to patterns. Find time to do something. This is often used with the or without it. Find time to do something or find the time to do something. So we're usually talking about time that you actually make or have to do something that you want to do. Here we go. How in the world do you find the time to juggle two jobs and be a mom? It must be really hard. How in the world do you do that? How in the world do you find the time to juggle two jobs, meaning do two jobs and be a mom, and also be a housewife, be there for your children? This is three jobs. How do you do it? Okay. Moving on to to catch on. Catch on means what? To become popular or to become fashionable. Okay. The trend caught on instantly. So the trend caught on. Instantly, very fast. The trend caught on instantly. Finally, moving on to our final one. Look after someone or something. As I said, look after. Imagine you are looking at something. Your eyes are on something or someone. You are taking care of someone or something. My parents will be looking after the kids over the weekend. So perhaps you're planning a vacation or a short weekend trip. And your friend asks you, "Are you taking your children?" Now, if your parents said, "Oh, we'll take care of the kids. Go on, enjoy your trip," you can say, "No, my parents will be looking after the kids over the weekend. My parents will be taking care of my children over the weekend." is a na-、uh, is another way of putting it. Okay, got it. Okay, job well done, everyone. Practice them more on your own.